it's nothing new But it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you So hold everyone and welcome to another vlog here on my channel Hattie Homemaking. So today is going to be another homemaking vlog. I thought I'd just take you through my day today. I know I've not filmed in ages so I thought this would be a lovely video to get back into. So please excuse if you hear any like signs of cold in my voice. I do feel like I've been getting a cold the last couple of days. So it's like not quite developed, but it's just, you know, when it's just like low levels, like a bit sniffly and a bit of a sore throat. So it's threatening, but I'm hoping it's not gonna happen. And it's just gonna go away and this will all it will be. It might even be a little bit of hay fever. I'm not sure because the last um, week in the UK, the weather has just been insane. It's been so, so nice. So it could be just like the pollen levels rising. But then also I did go to Portugal as well last week. So I might have caught something maybe on the plane. Um, I have not been abroad since before Portugal. I have not been abroad for three years because of lockdowns and things. So it was so lovely to get away. I did debate filming it and bringing you guys along, but I really just wanted to have the time just to like get off screens. Like I barely went on my phone. I read two books and I deleted TikTok from my phone because I realized that when I go on it, I, I can literally spend an hour and it feels like 10 minutes it's crazy and also the, the way I think about like this fast like paced social media sometimes is I think it genuinely retrains your brain to not be able to focus on like longer forms of entertainment so I've noticed since I started watching TikTok and things like that even like documentaries and films I would find my <laughs> my wind my mind wandering into other, other things and I think it's just because to literally go from like seven, 10 second videos where you like consume so many within an hour to just sitting down and watching one thing or reading a book, your brain has to work completely differently. So I just think for me, it's best I get off TikTok. I barely go on Instagram. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. I do go on Instagram quite a bit. <laughs> just completely told a lie. Um, yeah, but I'm going to I'm going to try and <laughs> not go on so much. I don't post as much and I feel I, I do feel that I'm quite good sometimes when it comes to social media. I'm good at living in the moment in my own life. Like I don't view life through the lens of like what can I get for social media? And I think that's why I don't post a lot on YouTube and Instagram, to be honest, because sometimes I'm just living my life and I'm not thinking about what I can film and that is a good thing like in terms of slow living in terms of like living your best life and living a peaceful life I do think it's a good thing sorry I was just checking I wasn't a neighbour watching me <laughs> I do think it's a good thing not to be living constantly through social media and that's not I'm not like in the camp of like never post at all and like live just for you I do see the benefits of sharing and I love making these videos but also sometimes I do just like to potter around my house and do my homemaking while singing and being stupid and not necessarily having a camera where I'm conscious of of what I'm doing but yeah, so I'm really looking forward to filming today anyway. And thank you so much if you're still here and looking forward to and watching these videos because I do appreciate that sometimes on YouTube, it's easier to watch people that do post consistently and you see a video every week because you feel a bit more like you know them and their lives. So I understand why some people might go off my channel if I don't like keep posting, but that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make for my mental health, if that makes sense. So yeah, thank you so much if you have stuck around and I really hope you enjoy this homemaking video. Maybe I think everyone on YouTube's missed you. Look, I'm sitting in the sun. Does anyone else's pets just absolutely love the sun? He will literally, look, are you staring at me? 
He will literally bask in it all day. Like he'll sit in here while the sun's in this room. Then when it moves to another room, he'll move there. Lie there all day. You love it, don't you? You love it? Take like the sun. <laughs> I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile Where's that happy girl that I know with a heart on? weather is seriously absolutely amazing outside it's so warm i've just been sat in the sun having some fruit salad and just relaxing feeling the sun on my face it's so nice so i'm going to do a little bit of gardening now so i planted some seeds yesterday i did some poppies and what was the other one candy tops and i've got some sweet peas as well that i'm going to try now so i'm going to take you out with me and just do a little bit of gardening i'm not going to use gardening gloves and it will go through some of you it's a new thing i started so obviously i work in like well-being and stuff like that so i was reading an article about how feeling mud on your hands so like gardeners when they don't use gloves and they feel the mud on their hands it actually has like well-being properties and has been shown to like boost your mood so now i've started trying not to use gardening gloves although yesterday i put my hand in the compost and i could have sworn i seen a spider so i was like ah and like screamed and threw it away so maybe that wasn't quite the feel good moment i was going for but i'm gonna try it again so i'm just gonna plant these little seeds i've got my little greenhouse that's just right outside these doors off my bedroom and it's lovely because it means in an evening i can just take my little watering can out there and just water them and it's just so peaceful 
peaceful. I remember I loved doing it last summer. Although to be fair, a lot of the things I tried did die, but that's because I also went like two weeks without watering them. So it's my own fault. <laughs> but I did make some really good sunflowers last year. So I'm gonna go to um, B&M maybe tomorrow and pick up some um, sunflower seeds and maybe a couple more as well and just carry on experimenting. That is the fun of it. I feel like I'm not the type of person that really cares if they die. Like it's not so much about the end product for me. It's more time just getting out in the garden, being in the fresh air and being at one with nature. <laughs> it's so much more about that and about the process for me than it is about the end product. So I'm going to get out there now, get some more sun on my face and yes, I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs>
Okay, so that is the garden done for today. So I just wanted to plant those sweet peas. I watched a YouTube tutorial before I did it this time. So that was another thing I did last year is I just dove in, dived in, dove in, <laughs> jumped in. <laughs> head first without researching anything or really reading the instructions I just kind of mud water seed see what happened <laughs> whereas this year I'm trying to actually make a couple things live like even if just one or two things live I'll be happy um so I've found watching YouTube tutorials helps me a lot more for some reason when I'm reading instructions I just jump around and I just I don't know I struggle to take it in and I like to physically see what someone's doing more let me know if you're like that I just feel that I just I don't know there's something about reading instructions that puts me off it doesn't matter what it is flat pack is the worst flat pack instructions are enough to send me into a meltdown <laughs> anyway so I'm going to make some lunch now so that's all the garden done yesterday I did um all the like edging around my beds I weeded it all and like did that thing you know where you get a spade and you make it all sharp at the end I don't even know what that's called I think it is edging um so that's the garden taken care of for today I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens with my seedlings but I'm going to make some lunch now and sit out in the garden while it's nice and sunny I'm going to take advantage of it so I'm going to make well make <laughs> I'm going to chop up a pepper and I'm going to put some pita bread in and have it with these um, falafel balls that I got from Asda and I'm just going to have like a nice picky lunch so I'm going to make that now and then sit out in the garden and enjoy it. Hey, I wish you could see yourself So this is my lunch. I've been eating this so much recently. So just a chopped up pepper. It's looking very orange today. <laughs> and then these falafel balls, they're like made with sweet potato and things. So they're really, really nice. They're from Asda. And then just some pita bread and some hummus. And I'll just go out and sit with this with a big bottle of water. On the topic of water, I thought I'd just show you this water bottle I got from Amazon. I think it's like 900 millilitres, but I love it because it's got like time goals. So as you can see, I am under my goal today. So it's about half 12. So I need to drink a little bit to catch up. But I always drink more when I eat anyway. So I'll definitely catch up by the end of this meal. So I'm just going to go and sit outside in the sun and really enjoy this lunch. <laughs> Blink of an eye and move out 
thoughts are too big Can I get some comfort please I guess I should have been honest It breaks in my heart It's weighing me down baby I'm like a river that's overflowed The sooner you know it the less do we hurt Let me speak the truth Too late, but I can see past the rain. Won't you lay it on me? Turn the page and burn it. Let's make up a big bonfire on the beach with the stars as our lighters and throw our problems in the Hello everyone, so it's now a couple of days later. I've just gone to edit this video and realised I completely abandoned it halfway through. <laughs> so I think because the weather was so lovely I just finished my task for the day and read a book outside and it was delightful. <laughs> the weather has now significantly changed. It is looking pretty grey and gloomy out there so I think that's the last of our spring <laughs> summer days until the next little wave in the UK it's so weird I feel like the spring in the UK is just full of hope and then it goes and then the hope comes back and it just completely like teases you in and out <laughs> so we just get weeks here and there where it's lovely and then it all disappears but I just wanted to hop on here just to end the video I really hope you did enjoy um, the video today I am so sorry that it has taken me so long to get around to doing another video and actually editing this video today it's been really really enjoyable I've smiled multiple times and yeah I just really enjoyed watching myself do a little bit of gardening <laughs> so yeah please stick with my channel if you do enjoy these videos even though I can't promise how frequent they will be that's all just a part of slow living I guess is taking it as and when you want to do things so I really hope you have enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you next time